Okay, Rugby Glory fans, welcome to our kitchen table. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the tackle and the ruck in Rugby Glory the game. In uh, the sport of rugby, the team that has the ball and is advancing the ball is called the attacking team. The team that does not have the ball is called the defending team. It's the same in Rugby Glory. Each of your player cards in Rugby Glory will have three numbers on them. The top number is the... Uh, player position number, the one right below with the closed fist, is the power number, and the one on the bottom is the hustle number. For tackles, you're going to be comparing hustle numbers. So when the attacking team decides to run the ball, they're going to designate a player card as the ball carrier. And to do that, they push that player card forward and give them the rugby ball. Once that happens, the defending team is going to have an opportunity to try to make a tackle. When they, uh, to do that, they're going to push forward their own card and we're going to compare the hustle numbers. Pretty simple process. Uh, there are two ways that it can go. The defender can push forward a card that has a higher hustle number than the ball carrier. In this case, it's a five. When that happens, the ball carrier gets a chance to evade the tackle by rolling the rugby ball dice. In this case, they rolled a one. We're gonna add that one to their hustle number. That makes a total of five. We're gonna compare that to the, the, the uh, tackler. And that's a five. And so uh, a tie is a tackle. Um, so once that happens, uh, the ball carrier and the tackler are both moved to their side and we'll move on to the ruck phase, which we'll explain in just a moment. If the ball carrier had um, rolled uh, two, let's say, so they had a total of six here, and the tackler, uh, the attempted tackler has a total of five, that would be uh, an unsuccessful tackle. They would have evaded the tackle. The defending player would be removed from the board and discarded, and play would continue with the attacking team deciding whether to continue running, uh, kick, support, or pass. Okay, so the other way that this can go is the defending team can put up a player that has a hustle number that's lower than the ball carrier. So in this case, it's a three and the ball carrier has a four. Then the defending team gets to roll the dice to see if it's a successful tackle. In this case, the defending team rolled two. They add that two to the three on the, their uh, player card, which is a total of five. And that exceeds the ball carrier's hustle number of four. So that would also be a successful tackle. Pretty simple uh, process. Do it a couple of times and it makes complete sense once you have the cards in your hand. Okay.